now that the dust has settled on Alexis Sanchez's move to Manchester United, the next big question is how is Jose Mourinho going to use Sanchez in this current Manchester United team? Right now, we're typically using a 4-2-3-1 formation, but what's the best position for Sanchez? I'm going to run through a few pros and cons of each position and I want to hear from you and your vote as to where you think Alexis Sanchez should be playing for Manchester United. Let's get into it. Now, the first position that Mourinho could use Sanchez is out on the left wing in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Right now, that's where Anthony Martial has been playing so far this season. If that was going to be Alexis Sanchez, it would allow him to cut inside and shoot from distance. Now, last year with Arsenal, that was Alexis Sanchez's best season in the Premier League. He did move towards the centre four position towards the second half of the season, but he started on the left wing and it could get the best out of him. You know, he's got a ferocious shot, clearly is an outstanding finisher. 24 league goals last year in the league. As I said, some from left wing, some from centre forward. But left wing could be a fantastic position. But question marks will be asked as to whether or not Alexis Sanchez would want to track back because Mourinho and his wingers, he typically wants his two wingers, his left and his right winger, to track back and double up and help the defenders. Would that suit Alexis Sanchez? And I think most importantly, do we really want to displace Anthony Martial? Arguably United's best attacker across the course of the season. Why would we want to knock him out of position when we do have other weaknesses in attack? And that's going to be the second position we're going to look at, right wing. That is clearly where United's weakness lies in the front four position. If we look in left wing, right wing, number 10 and centre forward, for me, right wing is where United have been weakest this year. And if you look at Alexis Sanchez, he may not really have played there for Arsenal, but he played there for Barcelona. They had an unreal team and Sanchez was a key part of that. You know, Pep Guardiola did sell him, but Pep Guardiola was about to re-sign him before he joined Manchester United, of course. Now he does have pedigree and he does have experience playing out on the right wing. And for me, Looking at United's options this season, that's where United have been weakest. The direct competition would be either Juan Mata or Marcus Rashford, and we need to give Rashford a little bit of a rest. The kid is playing every single game, and he is out of form this season. And until you take him out of the limelight, give him a chance to recover and recuperate, I'm not sure we're going to see the best out of Marcus Rashford this season. By playing Alexis Sanchez on the right, and bringing Rashford in at the right times, not only could you get a lot out of Alexis Sanchez, you know, cutting down and shooting across the goalkeeper, uh, offering a direct threat from the right wing, but you could get more out of Rashford as well. So it's a two double-edged sword, I suppose. Two positives for why he could play out on the right wing. And if you imagine Martial out on the left, Sanchez out on the right, with Mata or Lingard at number 10, and Lukaku up front, that is a deadly, deadly force. And not only would you then have a direct threat from the left with Martial, you'd have a direct threat from the right. And it would offer United a lot more versatility going forward and more pace on the counter-attack, which is always good as Manchester United. Now, the third position you could use Alexis Sanchez is in the number 10 role. Now, as I said, he did move towards a central position under Arsene Wenger last year at Arsenal, and he was fantastic. 24 goals, but more from a centre-four position. If we're looking at a number 10, that could be where you give Alexis Sanchez the freedom to move. Just give him the pitch and say, Alexis Sanchez, do what you want. If you're looking at left or right wing, there's a little bit more positional discipline for Sanchez to adhere by. And as I said, tracking back as well. Number 10, he can purely concentrate on attacking. And it means he can drop deep, sort of sync up with Paul Pogba, bring the ball forward. And that's something we desperately need as well. We need another creative outlet through the middle that's not Paul Pogba because we've been relying on him too much this season. Maybe playing Alexis Sanchez in that number 10 role would get the most out of Pogba too. And if you're looking on paper, maybe that's the best way to get the most out of this attack. You've got Martial on the left, Sanchez through the middle, Rashford or Massa on the right, and Lukaku up front. I think out of all the positions on paper, left wing is where we saw a lot of good stuff from Sanchez last year. But I wouldn't want to displace Martial. I can see him playing in a number 10 or a right wing position, and Lingard and Massa and Rashford vying for those positions. That's healthy competition. I'd much rather see that than him out on the left wing. But he could also play up front. As I said, centre forward position. Wenger did use him here and he has got pedigree. Premier League proven goal scorer. 24 league goals last year, 30 in all competitions. When we signed Robin Van Persie, he made the difference. We lost the league on goal difference. He came in, we won the league. It's a little bit different this time because, you know, only Man City, Spurs and Liverpool have actually scored more goals than United this year. And Lukaku, he has been a good goal scorer since he's joined from Everton in the summer. But maybe Jose Mourinho will want to offer more competition up there. You know, I do think it's kind of like you're taking one of your best players out to put a best player in. I think Lukaku's 
going to be staying in this team and I can't see Jose Mourinho dropping him. But it just goes to show how tactically versatile Alexis Sanchez is. He played on the left for Arsenal, he played up front for Arsenal. He also has played in the number 10, sort of dropping a little bit deeper for Arsenal. He'd also played up front for Udinese previously and he played on the right wing for Barcelona. So the thing to take away from this is Alexis Sanchez has the ability to play across all front four positions and do it very, very well. It's not like you'd be shoehorning him into the team by playing him on the right wing. He's played there previously for a fantastic Barcelona side and he could bring that danger to the right-hand side that we've lacked. You know, you see Mata and Valencia overlapping on the right wing, but it always ends up in being either a cross or a cutback. We've never had someone on the right wing in the last few years anyway that properly runs to the byline does a defender and runs back inside. Rashford can do it on occasions, but hasn't been doing it this season. Henrik Mkhitaryan failed to do it. That's why we let him go to Arsenal in the other direction. But for me, on paper, the best way to get the most out of Sanchez and the most out of this attacking United squad is on the right wing. But I would be very surprised if we ever saw Alexis Sanchez play in one of those positions and staying there. What he also brings is the fluidity. Because whether it's gonna be Martial on the left, Lingard in the middle, and say Sanchez on the right. They're gonna keep switching positions throughout the game, making it very hard for defenders to defend against them. And having that versatility and that unpredictability going forward is something that's gonna help United attack so, so much. We don't have to rely on Lukaku for goals or Martial. We've got another direct goal scoring threat through Alexis Sanchez. But what position do you think we should be playing Alexis Sanchez in? How are we gonna get the best out of the Chilean attacker? He is world class. He will score goals from no matter what position he is played in. But how do we get the best out of him and the best out of the players around him too? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon.